What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Attract Nation, where I share tips, tricks, and teach you about the law of attraction. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you if vision boards actually work, and if they work, how to really key in on them and use them properly. Stay tuned. So today we're going to be talking about vision boards and if they actually work. And the answer is, is yeah, they do work and they work pretty well. And I use a vision board every single day. I have it up actually right next to my bedside. So when I wake up, I can see it first thing in the morning. And also, if you watch my gratitude video, you can give gratitude for those things coming like I showed you. But a vision board is an amazing tool to have. I absolutely love vision boards. Saying that, vision boards work for some people. They don't work for everybody, believe it or not. So there's other things that I'll show you later in the video that you can do if vision boards just aren't working for you, or if you don't like vision boards, or if vision boards just aren't your thing, you're not a crafty person, you're not a Martha Stewart at home. So I understand, but for me, they work and I'll show you exactly why. And the reason why is because the way you learn, there's all types of learning styles. You may not know it, but you use the learning style every single day. And right here in my diagram here, yes, it's homemade. Do you love it? Absolutely, I love it. So number one, visual learner is the first style of learning. So you learn with your eyeballs, you learn with your eyes, you learn by seeing stuff. It, it makes sense to have pictures around. So a vision board is 100% the way to go when you're a visual person. The second way of learning is auditory. So you learn by hearing things. Testing. Testing. It might sound good to you. You have ideas and they like to tell you stories and they like to hear stories. So in this case, if you're an auditory person, vision boards might not be the best for you. But don't worry, later in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do if you're an auditory person to have your form of a vision board. The third is kinesthetic. So that's hands-on learning, like me. I'm very hands-on. I love working on cars. I love going to the gym. I love, you know, feeling everything. So if you're a kinesthetic learner, you're a very hands-on learner. You learn by doing stuff. So again, making a vision board is 100% up your alley. You're putting the pictures on the vision board and you're actually using your hands to help manifest things into your life. And last but not least is digital. So these people learn with the mind. I know it might sound weird, you always learn with your mind, you learn with your brain. What resonates with digital people is think, thought, and they want to process. They have to have an order and everything has to be set up properly. Everything has to have its own place. So that's a digital learner. I'm not a digital learner, although I like things being in their place. So this might be my third style of learning. And if you're a little bit confused on what style of learning you have, I have a link below where you can actually take a test and they have a series of questions and they tell you exactly what type of learning style you have. And it you might be all four. Like I'm I'm everybody's all four, but it's how much of something you learn with. So I'm probably I'm visual first, kinesthetic auditory and then digital so that makes sense right and this is very important for if a vision board is going to work for you or not so if you're either digital or auditory you need to something a little bit different than a vision board which i have for you all right and now for the auditory and digital learners this is how you make your vision board or a version of your vision board so what I recommend that you do is get a pen and paper right now and write this down. Um, what you want to do, number one, is what do you have now? 
what's in your life right now so you want to you can write it down and then put like a post-it note on the bottom of it and say what do you have now this is what you have in your life so number two is what you're actively attracting what have you already attracted and that could be you know anything you've actively attracted you know um, a nice cup of coffee in the morning lunch with friends that you didn't have to pay for anything pretty much anything like that and then number three what you want to manifest so these are the things you want these are your hopes your wishes and your desires so if you want a big house to say i'm i'm on the way to attracting a big house or if you want a new car or if you want money or if you want a raise or that love that you have in your life you can do it that way too but it all makes sense to digital and auditory people because there's uniformity for the digital people and auditory you're actually saying it in your head and it's repeating back to you and it's resonating with you so this is definitely what i recommend for the people that are digital and auditory learners this vision board will help you so much in attracting things that you want and also they'll be right in front of your face you can have right on the side of your bed like i do wake up see it and it'll be great so it all depends on what type of learner you are if you're a visual and kinesthetic person vision boards are for you they're going to be rock star you're going to be attracting like no other but if you're auditory and digital they won't work for you so the pictures won't work for you but the other way that i taught will so you just got to find what learning style you are and see what works for you that's another thing the most important thing is is that when you look at your vision board the way that you're going to attract things in your life is how you feel so when you're looking at a vision board and you're like yeah i feel good that that's gonna come i know that's gonna come and you know when you're getting close you can take like a uh, a gold star and if you have a, a picture of something that you're getting close to attracting because getting close to attracting almost having it is pretty much a win in my book so you take that gold star and you put it on there and you see that it's actually working and you're working towards that goal say if you were raising money for something that you wanted and you got an unexpected bonus at work there you go put your star on that picture right so it's all about how you feel and if you feel good you're going to send that out into the universe and it's going to come back and the vision board's going to kick ass it's going to work but if you have a vision board and you're like oh man this doesn't work and oh my god i can't believe that this isn't happening it hasn't came yet what are you going to send out to the universe you're sending out negative vibrations into the universe and that's going to come back to you and no the vision board's not going to work or the other the other vision board for the auditory and digital that's not going to work either so it's all about how you feel you got to feel good about it and if you don't feel good about it that's what you're going to attract so what you want to remember is that you want to feel good when you're making your vision board and you can put anything on your vision board don't let anything limit you it seems crazy to you even better right so put that i'm going to attract a hundred million dollars and if you aim high and you attract something a little bit lower <laughs> that's still great if you're attracting a hundred million dollars you make 20 million i don't think you're going to be disappointed at all so it's how you feel and it's how much you believe in what's going to come because when you do that it's definitely going to come i mean like put wild things on it put that model that you want to date because you never know if you attract hard enough and you put that emotion out that you will get it it will come trust me it will come and some days there are going to be those days where you know you feel negative and that's okay to feel negative just feel negative for a short period of time and then go back to having positive thoughts and a good way to do that is like in my other video is gratitude and gratitude is going to supercharge your ability for being positive 
So it's all about how you feel. Vision boards are great. They absolutely work for me. I have them all over the house. I have them on my phone. There's apps that you can get on your phone. Um, I believe it's uh, the Hay House. I'll put it down in the uh, description below. And you can make vision boards with online pictures. So it's really cool. And you can put it on your phone. You can put it on your computer. You can print it out. You can blow it up however you want to do it. Just make sure you feel good about it. All right. So we're going to do a little recap. So what we need to remember is that vision boards will work for us if it's in our line of learning. So if you're a visual and kinesthetic person, it's definitely going to work. If you're a digital and auditory person, it might not work for you. But I have that other thing that I taught you where you can do that also. It's almost like a vision board for you guys. So it's going to work either way. Also, in the description below, I have that test where you can see what, what learning style you are. So it's very, very important to see what kind of learning style you are. Also, you want to make sure you feel good about what you're attracting. You want to make sure that you're having a good energy when you're cutting out those pictures or finding those pictures on the internet that you know that they'll come. And they definitely will. And remember that trick that I taught you about putting a star on something that you're getting close to because that's showing that it's going to work and that's going to flood you with positivity and you're going to attract it because you're putting it out there. So get out there, make your vision boards, make them as crazy as possible, anything you want, because the only person that can limit yourself is you. I'm going to give you a little homework assignment. I know we all hate homework, but it's okay. This is fun homework. So when you complete your vision board, I want you to send it to my Instagram and it's attract underscore nation. It's going to be at the end of this video. Just send it to me. And what you're doing by sending the picture of your vision board is that you're celebrating that you love how it looks and it's a positive feeling. So you're going to send that out. All right, guys, we'll see you next Monday. Remember, stay positive. Thank you for watching my video, and if you liked my video, make sure you hit that like button and definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about the Law of Attraction. Which one are you going to choose? Over here we got videos on gratitude, and over here we have Law of Attraction 101. It's up to you. Pretty good. Which one? Good choice.